Hello, my name is Sean Sullivan, incoming board president for United Way of Ottertail County. You may have heard the expression, keeping up with the Joneses. You may desire to be like the Joneses, with a white picket fence and a freshly mown lawn. Today, our story focuses on a father, David Jones, and middle brother Jacob. In Ottertail County, this family could be anyone. It could be your sister, your brother, your neighbor, or your coworker. In our story, the Jones family is an example of how programs, family members, and people in the community are mobilized to help one another. by a kinship mentor after school. Emma, you're going to the after school program with Hannah. Tyler, don't skip any more class, all right? Whatever. Okay, and you can hang out with your friends tonight after work, but I want you home by nine. It's Friday. All right, 10, okay? All right, you guys have a good day. Emma Jones? Here. Tyler Jones? Yeah. Yesterday we began to study triangles. Today we are going to start on the Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So it would be 8 squared plus 15 squared equals 17 squared. Let's check. 8 squared plus 15 squared equals 289 and 17 squared equals 289. You did it! some fumes. Oh, no, 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 no. Please. Is this the Salvation Army? Yeah, uh, you guys offer gas coupons, right? Okay, thank you. Yep, bye-bye. Hi Dave, how are you today? Uh, not bad, and you? I'm good. Good. Now you've been here before, right? Yeah. Okay. Yep, I was in uh, a few weeks ago because my son needed a prescription refill and I uh, couldn't afford to pay for it. Okay, that's right. I remember that now. So, how is that going? Are you going to need help on that again? I th we're good for now. Okay, um, good. You know, after I get paid again, I'll, I'll maybe let you guys know if okay. I need some more help with that. So, what can we do for you today? Well, I uh, need, some, need some help out with some gas for my car. 
Okay, well, we do have some gas vouchers. Okay. Um, they go to the Holiday Station. Okay. The only requirement we have is that you give us a copy of your driver's license so we know we're dealing with a yeah. valid driver. Yeah, understandable. Okay, so I can write out a voucher. Now, what you would do is I'll fill this out, and then you take it to the Holiday Station okay. and get your gas and give them this, and they'll send it back to us, and then we'll pay the bill. Oh, that's great. Okay, I appreciate so it. So we'll get a copy of this Okay. and write this out, and you can be on your way. Thank you okay, very much. Okay, well. So what's new? You like my shirt? Yeah, it looks nice. Yeah, my dad got it for me at the Salvation Act for like two bucks. Looking good. So have you thought about going out for any teams this year? Not really. I've been trying to pick up a job, but do you think I should? Yeah, you're a pretty good athlete. Or how about theater? Me at? Well, I think you should do something fun. Keep yourself busy. I'd come watch. The sports or the acting? Both. Really? Yeah, now I'm going to teach you how to make lasagna. So you're coming back to school. Yeah, I figured it's about time. Uh, was there anything special that motivated you? My family. Uh, about a year ago, my wife, Michelle, lost her battle with breast cancer. And she was an elementary teacher. And it was uh, very important to her that I uh, someday earn my degree and go on to get a college education. I'm very sorry for your loss. Thank you. Yeah, it's been hard, but uh, I really feel like it's time to invest a little bit in myself, uh, even with how tight things have been. And I want to give my kids a better life, and I really just want them to be proud of the old man. That's admirable, and, and I understand. And I want you to know that our teachers and tutors are here to help you and um, prepare you well for those five GED exams. Great. Uh, and I want you to know that there are opportunities to learn year-round. We're not just open in the school year. We're open all summer also. Okay, with my schedule, that'll work well. All right. Well, let's get some paperwork started. Great. Hey, um, how was school? Good. I got 100% on my spelling test. Hey, good job. All right. Hey Jake, what's that? Leftover lasagna. Mark taught me how to make it, and he said we could have the rest. Yay, I'm hungry. Well, I'll tell you what, why don't we save that for tomorrow night? I know there's some sandwich fixings in the fridge. Okay. Any homework? Nah. Well, make sure you get it done. It's supposed to be nice this weekend. Hey Jake. What? Did you get mac and cheese in your backpack? Yeah, you want to split it? We should share some with Dad and Tyler too. Hey, you're home early. What's up? Nothing. I'm fine. Hey. So what's up? One of the guys at school's throwing a birthday party for his mom, and I told him it was stupid. Mom's dead. Uh, yeah. Well, have you thought any more about going to camp? I don't want to go to some stupid girls' camp. Camp Emily's not a girls' camp. I really think that they can all help us deal with Mom's death. Whatever. Oh, well, you've got some time to think about it. I'm gonna go ask Jake and Emma. I'm sorry that I skipped school. In this story, you saw volunteer actors. But these are real-life situations that take place every day right where we live. Someone needs help with gas for their car to get to work. Getting an education for themselves or educating their children. Programs like the ones featured today and 30 others provide help for children, adults, and seniors. But United Way is only able to fund these programs with your help. Please make a decision today to give, to advocate, and to volunteer.